all of these books that you see in the red binding um, those are all signed by Robert Asprin yo I ain't here for the money I ain't here for the fame so it might be nice to own a jet plane I'm gonna do it off for you What's up everybody, this is Jason Thrift Trader and today I just wanted to come back to you guys with another live video. I know I haven't been on uh, for a while now on YouTube. It's been a few days since I posted another video, but uh, what I decided to do was go ahead and go through all of the boxes off of camera and just kind of sort through and find, you know, the more valuable things, the more things that are interesting and uh, show you guys that on camera. Because I realized very quickly that if I went through and did unboxing videos on every single one of these boxes, it would take me two years to go through it. Okay, so I decided to do it this way. Um, hopefully that doesn't upset too many of you guys. I understand that there's a lot of you that want to go through the boxes with me. It was just too overwhelming with so much that was going on. So I just, uh, like I said, I went through a lot of these boxes that had books in them. And uh, today we're gonna just uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you some of the really cool books that we found. So um, also, you know, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so that you get notifications every time I post a video. Um, please do that. Um, I hope that you guys like the content. I hope that you guys like this journey that I'm taking you with. Um, you can also find me on uh, Instagram, thrift underscore trader. And uh, you can also join my Facebook group, Resellers Anonymous. So definitely do that and uh, stay tuned. We'll, we'll see what we got. Okay, so a lot of these books, I've got, I've got a whole bunch of books here on my shelves here. And um, these books that are turned sideways are just uh, normal run-of-the-mill books that I'm going to be sending to Amazon, either FBA or I'll sell them Merchant Fulfilled. Some of them I'll even sell on eBay. But... Um, the person that owned this storage unit was really big into wargaming um, with like miniatures and stuff. So there's a lot of historical like novels and things in regards to uh, uh, different wartime eras that uh, uh, in different countries too. So um, I thought that was really neat. But uh, here we've just got we've got some nonfiction books scattered throughout a lot of fiction books. And um, some of the books that I've been pulling out of here is pretty, pretty wild looking. So this is like a, an older Dr. Seuss book here. And uh, the Teo of Pooh. Um, a bunch of different books here. Uh, this is a DVD box set. It, it's, uh, it's comped out at about $100 on eBay. Um, this I plan on selling is a lot on eBay. This is a lot. This is a lot. These are just singles. I've just got them stacked up here. A whole bunch more books to send to Amazon. Some older books I'm going to have to do some more research on. And right here, we've got uh, more, adventures, more Adventures of Samurai Cat. And then, of course, The Adventures of Samurai Cat. Um, the, car the, the cartoon history of the universe here. Uh, first and second here. Um, Duelist magazines, okay. I thought those were pretty neat. Uh, Magic the Gathering, Dragon Magazine. This stuff right here, Elf Quest. Let's go through this. And this right here is just. This is just a. Uh, a set of prints, I guess. Um, lithographs. From the Elf Quest series, there's a whole bunch of them in here, and they're in really, really good condition. So I don't want to mess them up, but uh, I'll put those back in the sleeve here very shortly. But we got a bunch of uh, a bunch more Elf Quest stuff here, um, Elf Quest books, and those books that are in their uh, individual covers, those are signed. Um, those are signed by uh, Wendy and Richard Penny. And then uh, here is uh, three sets of uh, all six of the Thieves World graphics. 
And uh, then we have uh, Myth Adventures 2. That's, uh, it's all the same book. There's several of them. Myth Adventures 1 here, Thieves World Graphics. All of these books that you see in the red binding, um, those are all signed by Robert Asprin. Every single one of them. Well, I say every single one of them. I just ran across a couple that weren't, but most of them have this. Um, it's signed by Robert Asprin and Phil Foglio, and uh, I know that out of every title, I have one, uh, books one through four in sequential numbers. This is number five of 1,200. So, not entirely sure what these are worth, guys. Um, I'm going to say this loud and clear one time. The contents of this storage unit belong to the personal estate of Robert Asprin, who is a sci-fi fantasy author, very well known for his Thieves' World and Myth Adventures uh, from the 80s and the early 90s. Okay, guys? So, just so that you know, that's why all of this is in here, okay? Here's, uh, here's a bunch more signed. This is the Thieves' World graphics 1, 2, and 3. And then, of course, we have a bunch more books of his down here. Uh, that are not signed. Um, like I was saying, there's a lot of his, uh, a lot of content related to um, war wartime history in different countries and stuff. You know, this stuff right here. I I can't even read that. I don't know what. I think it might be German. I don't know. And for instance, this down here. Says, uh, I have no idea what that even says, but it's it's an unbound book essentially. You see, it's got it's all the papers just kind of stacked on one another here. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Berlin. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is German. I don't have a clue what this could be worth. Then we have Walt Disney's Uncle Scrooge. Um, this is book 1, 2, and 3. It's series 44 through 71. And then we also have it down here. 1, 2, 3. Uh, series 1 through 20. Okay. And uh, I think that these, these sets go for about 100 bucks each on eBay. Then we have the Uncle Scrooge. Let me get somewhere where there's better light. Uh, Uncle Scrooge McDuck. And I open this thing up. And there is a pristine comic. Walt Disney's Uncle Scrooge here. 95 cents. I can't imagine that being yesterday. Uh, but I uh, wanted to show you guys that. This right here. Disney villain. This thing is also signed. Let me see if I can get it open. It is also signed and contains. Here it is. Uh, this limited edition of 7,500 copies of the Disney villain is signed by the authors and numbered and contains a 12 inch strip of film from Disney's animated feature Snow White. So this is number 6122 out of 7500. And uh thought that was pretty neat. Definitely thought that was pretty neat. Um What else we got here? Um we've got a whole bunch of uh well I say a whole bunch, probably like 10 or so of these giant sized comics here. This is DC and Marvel presents Battle of the Century Superman versus the Amazing Spider-Man. And it's actually in really good condition con uh, considering um, how it was found just in a box, you know. Um, the fa uh, Fabulous Fantastic Four, that's number two in the series from Marvel. Here's number one. Savage Fists of Kung Fu. 
We've got this one. This one's from 1976, guys. All new Marvel Treasury Special 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, here's Tarzan. This is from DC. Giant size. One dollar, guys. Holy cow. Limited collector's edition. Here's another DC Batman. Two dollars. Here's uh, number 12 of the series here. Uh, Howard the Duck. Number 11, The Fabulous Fantastic Four. And this thing's, this thing's big. These are big. Giant Superhero Team-Up. Number 4, Marvel Treasury Edition Conan the Barbarian. And Doctor Strange here. That's pretty cool, guys. Um... We've got some illustrated books here. This is pretty interesting. Empire. Jesus Christ Superstar. And uh, this is this is stuff that uh, man, I'm just finding random things in here. Um, but I think this is a set that sells for around sixty dollars. Uh, spiritual volumes or values of clear quartz crystals. So it's very a shamanism, a beginner's guide. Okay. Um, this is something I wanted y'all to really see. Now, this is the, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called, the wood grain box set of Dungeons and Dragons rule books. Okay. Price says $10 here. Here's the thing with this. If these were first edition and in better shape, uh, I saw one of them first edition, just like this sell for $22,000. No joke. Uh, this is not the first, this is not the first print. This is the third printing, okay? Um, 1975, April 1975. And the box is in pretty rough shape, okay? I'm still looking at probably around $1,000 for this. Maybe a little more. But there's volume one. And let me show you. It says third printing on right there on the inside. You can see it. It says third printing there. April 1975. Here's volume two. And here's volume three. And then you have uh, the supplement, the first supplement, Greyhawk. Here's the third supplement. And uh, I cannot read Roman numerals. I don't know which supplement this is. But I'm trying not to deter the box anymore than it already is. And then there's several pieces of paper that have this. It's like the spells table, things of that sort. So this was a fantastic find. Fantastic find. Um, also... This was also in that box, but it belongs by itself. Um, Chainmail Rules for Medieval Miniatures. This book alone comps on eBay for uh, about $450. It's crazy. Um, this right here is the first, uh, first edition of Watership Down, this novel alone, in the condition it's in, is around a hundred bucks. And then, down here, I've got some RPG books, uh, Riffs, that's a, a whole bunch of Riffs books there, and of course I've got uh, this one, uh, Wake in the Storm, it's a fantasy variant of the Sword and the Flame, Primal Order, uh, this is uh, Monsters of Myth and Legends, brand new, sealed, suitable for use, 
with advanced Dungeons and Dragons. So we've got that. We have Heroes Unlimited Revised, Villains Unlimited here, um, Coalition Wars, Beyond the Supernatural. These are all um, little uh, role play books, uh, RPG gaming books, I guess I should say. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's kind of what I've been dealing with uh, in here. Is just trying to get things somewhat organized and in place for me to start scanning books into Amazon and start putting books on eBay and on Prairie Grit. So that's kind of where I've been and I apologize 100% for, for really not... Uh, not putting all of this on video i mean it would just take forever guys i hope you understand that but i still want to show you you know the good things that are coming out of this so that maybe you know if you end up finding this somewhere definitely pick it up okay um guys but anyways that's what i've been up to um as i go along if i run across anything else that's really cool i know i will um i'll show you guys the uh I'm going to start processing these books now, and uh, next, after the books, I'll probably go through the comics, and uh, the cool thing about the comics is I've got like 24 or 25 boxes full of comics. I'm going to go through them individually, pull out the winners, and show you guys the winners, and uh, uh, that I know I've got a few that are really, really cool, and I can't wait to show you guys, so that's, uh, that's where I'm at with all of this. But uh, you know what? Until next time, guys, keep on picking that trash and making that cash. We'll catch y'all later. Have a good day.